establishing a rhythm and hopefully in moving away. Still leading the race, lane one, the Thunderbirds from the University of British Columbia. Second spot is now Purdue for lane two. Third, Orange Coast College. Fourth, UC Irvine. And that fifth spot is Fordham University. So as we pass the 500 meters, your leader, Lane 1, University of British Columbia. Lane 2, Purdue University. Lane 3, Orange Coast College. Lane 5, UC Irvine. Lane 4, Fordham. Lane 6, Sonoma State. And trailing is Long Beach Strait. Back to you at the towers. On the water, first event of today's meet is the men's collegiate varsity A. And uh, looking at lane assignments quickly, in lane number one, closest to our shoreline, University of British Columbia, Vancouver. They are the early leaders. Purdue University currently in second spot, followed by Orange Coast College in lane number three. They're currently in that third position. In lane number four, it's Fordham University. In lane five, the University of California, Irvine. Lane six, we have California State University down here from Sonoma, California. And in lane number seven, Cal State University, Long Beach, Long Beach State currently trailing. The British Columbia seem to be the form crew in this event. We have no early season form on them. Um, lane two, Purdue have had one hit out so far this year. They lost to the University of Notre Dame. In lane three, Orange Coast, they've beaten the University of San Diego, but lost to UC Los Angeles, UCLA. Fordham have had uh, quite a few hit outs so far this year, some of it in multi-lane racing. They've beaten St. Joseph's, Washington College, Franklin and Marshall, Pittsburgh and Susquehanna, but they've lost to Drexel, Marist and Delaware. UC Irvine in lane five, they've beaten the universe, they've beaten UC Santa Barbara twice and Long Beach State, but they've lost to UC Los Angeles. In lane five, uh, Sonoma State, they've beaten Cal Lightweights, Santa Clara, Humboldt State, Cal Maritime and Pacific, but they've gone down to Sacramento. And in the outside lane, uh, Long Beach State, they've lost to UC Irvine and UC Santa Barbara. Coming into view on our finishing area, just outside of 15, just inside 1,500 meters to go in this race. On the shore side, it looks like it's a fight between Purdue and University of British Columbia. But certainly on the far outside, University of California, Irvine is not going away as they've begun to challenge on the outside. Fordham in the center of our area, followed by Orange Coast College. And then on the far outside, Long Beach State. Yes, Alan, as we come into the final 500, it's uh, looking reasonably comfortable for the University of British Columbia, but there's a real dogfight for the uh, qualifying places. Only two go through from this event. So it's going to be a real dogfight for second place, and there's at least four crews in it at the moment. Along the shoreline here, it is University of British Columbia. They are being shadowed on their outside shoulder by Purdue, but on the far outside, University of California, Irvine, certainly not going away. In that fifth position, far to the outside, along the shoreline, British Columbia, Still on the outside, University of California, Irvine, beginning to move up. In the center of our field, it is Orange Coast College, Fordham. On the outside, Sonoma and Long Beach State. This is British Columbia along the shoreline. On the outside, it looks like Irvine is continuing to hang on to that second place. But there is a dogfight between Fordham, Orange Coast College, and Purdue. Purdue on the near side, but they're going to have to go a long way to catch up with Irvine on the outside. Purdue has moved up along lane number two. 
Then comes Orange Coast College and Fordham with Irvine trying to hang on at the finish line. It is British Columbia will be the first to cross. It looks like the University of California, Irvine, has held off a charge with very tight to call between Fordham, Orange Coast College, and Purdue. Trailing on the outside, Cal State Sonoma and Long Beach State University trailing. Once again, the unofficial finish, University of British Columbia out of Vancouver, Washington, is the unofficial winner. They were followed across the finish line by University of California, Irvine, and then very tight finish between Fordham, Orange Coast College, and Purdue for that yeah, third spot, but the first two will be moving through. towards the state boats down by the SeaWorld property. And we're about ready to go for the second heat here of three. Once again, the top two will move through. Second two go to the petite final. Such crews here as Notre Dame, University of California, Davis, Sacramento State, UCLA, Bates College out of Lewiston, Maine is here for the first time. And the University of California, Santa Barbara, along with Loyola Marymount University, will go down and check with the start here shortly. University of Notre Dame, lane two, UC Davis. Lane three, Sacramento State. Lane four, UCLA. Lane five, Bates College. Lane six, UC Santa Barbara. And in lane seven, Loyola Marymount. The aligner's flag is up. The starter is now polling the crews. Beautiful conditions down here at the starting line. Absolutely flat water. Flag is up. And we have a start. Event number two, men's collegiate eight. Varsity eight. All boats away cleanly. Once again, they start off in a furious pace. Stroke rates up in the 40s, 46 strokes per minute. After 15 strokes, 